Hello, I'm Jane Pauley. How do you discover your life's purpose? Drill deep. Here's Ken Wood with his life calling. You see the kids hauling the water up and down the road, coming from these places. And they would fill their jug. They just get that for drinking, and you would not let your dog touch the water. It was that bad. I would see these people and tears coming out of your eyes, but, you know, just riding down the road. It's just devastating. Water is life. That's what they say in Ghana. Each year in Ghana, Western Africa, thousands die by drinking contaminated water from ponds and wells dug by hand. Children and women walk up to five miles each way, only to bring home water filled with bacteria that can kill them. Who knew all those years you're drilling wells here in Maryland that you had the power to save lives? It's just an opportunity, a gift that God gave me, so I'm, I'm very pleased. Ken Wood was a farm boy from Maryland who built up a well drilling business. Okay, this is the place right here, okay. He wasn't looking for his calling four years ago. He was just looking to sell a used rig. A small church wanted to take it to Ghana and ask Ken to go along as an advisor. He's been back on his own 15 times. That's why. Most of us don't ever have a chance like that. I know, it's, it's wonderful, yeah. Your skill and expertise met opportunity, met life-changing water. In Africa, Ken found Christine, a tireless manager who handles the operations. So we didn't get any water left, no. but we drilled for them. We drilled for them. All right. Around 50 feet down is where you'll find water, and Ken can drill that deep in an hour. Their small team has drilled 460 wells at last count, and each one changes the life of a village. Bet you'll never guess where his funding comes from. So what do horses have to do with it? They've helped support what we're doing. Ken owns a small stable of horses. Harness racing used to be his passion. Today, it supports his mission. Has he earned some money for the project? Yes, he's, he's been a contributor. Yeah, he's a good boy, aren't you, Joey? We've had five horses make over 150,000. That's not coincidence. It's not my money. That does not happen. So I'm just passing the money on. What the horses win is poured back into Ghana. On a typical day, he might drill at four sites, including an orphanage, check up on a previous installation. This is beautiful and visit old friends. <laughs> they gave you a name. What is your name? Tugby Abechi, Chief Living Water. Uh, that's kind of nice. Since he came, we don't have to drink river water and get sick anymore. He's saving lives. I want him to live 150 years to finish the work that he's doing. He's an inspiration to his son, Ben, who helps run the business in both places, and to his 18-year-old granddaughter, Shelby. She just made her first visit to Africa. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing just fine back there. Uh -huh. At 66, Ken has suffered two major heart attacks, but he keeps going. I've got lots of people praying for me. <laughs> and he's got his wife's blessing to spend up to three months a year in Africa. You've probably, with those, those rough well driller hands of yours, have saved more lives than many physicians have in a lifetime. I'm just so thankful that, that it worked out that I was a well driller instead of something else. If I was a lawyer, I wouldn't be worth a quarter. Ken is making plans to start drilling wells on the east coast of Africa, in Tanzania. But he needs more money. His horses don't always come in first. Yeah, you know, if the horses really knew what you were doing, they'd act a little different. Man, you gotta communicate yeah, with these gotta horses. Gotta get better communication. I've borrowed a quarter million now for the last journey here, but it'll come, it'll come. You're now a quarter million in the hole? Oh yeah, it's no big deal. On the hopes that those horses out there mm -hmm. are gonna, you know. Yeah, it'll work. Suppose you have 
a friend that is sick all the time and you could do something, just click your fingers and do something to heal that person. I can do that for a thousand people a day, maybe two thousand. That's the greatest gift in the world.